Hey guys, you know the other day I was talking to a guy and we were dis discussing fishing and water clarity. And we were discussing what lure colors you use and what clarity of water. And, and I told him, when I get that real dingy chocolate milk type stuff, man, I'm throwing blue-black. It's what I always love, that black with a little bit of blue in it. it. gives a real nice dark profile, makes it a little bit easier for those fish to see it in that real dingy water. And about that time I thought, you know what? I don't have a black blue crankbait. So today, we're gonna solve that problem. We're gonna paint this 2.5. We're gonna do it black and blue. Stick with me. Alright, let's we'll start out with a base coat of white. As always, just get a base coat on. That way when you start all the other colors, they'll all look like they're supposed to. Again, we're working here with about 40 pounds of air pressure. They usually work when I'm doing things straight on. And I didn't tell you up front, we're starting out with the Createx Opaque White. And that's what we're using for our base coat. Got it on. Let me clean the airbrush up and we'll move on to the next step. Now, as I said, we're going to go black and blue. We're going to put a wrap on it. So let's first come down to the base coat we're going to want underneath the black. And for that, I thought we'd do a real light blue. And then to go to Walmart. Because I love this cool blue color. I really, I really like that. It gives me a nice light color. As I said before, the Walmart paint is always too thick. You've got to thin it down. I'll thin down some here in a small cup. Got it loaded. And let's give this lure a coating of Walmart cool blue. And we just want a good overall color. Get all that white covered up good. And there we go. Got it all over with a cool blue. But I'll tell you what, I think we're going to add a little something to that. So let's clean up the gun and try a little something else. We've got all the blue now. Let's load up the gun with a little Createx Transparent Orange. And we're just going to take real lightly here on the head, the head area. I'm kind of shooting back, so it is bleeding back a little on beyond the head, but that's okay. There we go. All right, got that. Let me uh, clean the gun back out again. All right, now if you notice, the orange isn't real bright, and that's because we put it over blue instead of put it over white. As I always say, if you want your colors to come out accurate, they've got to be over white. So it's a little more muted, but that's okay. We're, we don't really care if it's real bright. Now I've taken some Createx Opaque Yellow. An opaque yellow. And we're just going to take... We're going to go on the back side here a little bit. Just a little bit around the tail. The bottom side. Maybe a little bit right there down the back. I'll just put a little bit, let's go up here by the throat. A little yellow there by the throat too. A little something different. Alright, that's all we're going to do. Going to leave it, got a little blue. All blue, a little up here. Got the yellow at the back, a little on the throat. Let me clean up the gun, and then we're going to dry this off really good with the heat gun. Alright, there we go. Got it all dry. Got the oranges on the head, a little yellow, the blue. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a wrap on. This is a little bit different than I've done in the past. Now, I've showed you in some of other videos this ribbon right here. This is from Walmart 
Ofray, O-F-F-R-A-Y. This is a floral ribbon designed in the floral area. Now what you have here is inside these edges there's a small wire down inside each edge. And this ribbon is a little bit small to try to get it around that lure. So let me show you what I do. Now remember this thing has a lot of glitter on it. You got to get rid of the glitter. And I've been doing that. So what I have is two pieces of ribbon here and I've really worked to get the glitter off. I don't suppose it's all off. If you'll notice I have cut the edge off of one side where it's real thick on the side here. I've taken one edge off here, done the same on this one, and I pulled the wires out. So the wires are now missing, folds over nice and easy, and the one edge is cut loose. So here's the way we do this. Let me get a few clips here. Might need a couple extras. I do this now in two parts. We're going to come over here on the front, and I'm going to get it wrapped around. I'm going to pull her down good and tight, just like we do any other time. Let me get a uh, clip on it. So pull her down, and I'll even now, I may just pull down here on the head. Pull it down there too. All right, we got that. There we go. Now, I'm going to take this one and lay it right like that. Lay it right down in here. And now, we'll hit it again with another clamp. And there we go. And now I've used two of them, and I won't have a straight line in the middle where the two meet because I cut that line off. Alright, let's put a clamp on this. Now, got a wrap on. See how it looks over here. Kind of missed something there, so hang on just a second. Let me get another. Takes a few extra clips on this one to get it all down using the two pieces. But there we got it. All right, let me load some paint up in the gun. We'll be ready to move. Now, we wanted a black lure, so we're going to go with Createx Pearlized Black. I'll go with the pearl black color. Now, if I was going to be using a lot of lighter colored paints, I would have painted the whole thing white first, then come back and paint my other colors on top. And the reason would be, I need the white base to get the top colors to come out correctly. But, because I'm painting it black, I don't have to take that step and paint it white first. Black is going to cover all those other colors with no problem. And I get to eliminate one step. And there we go. Now, as always, put a wrap on. We're going to dry this really good. Then we'll take it off and see where we stand. Alright. Heat gun. We are done. Let's see what we end up with here. Back half first. And let me get the clamp off it. Front half second. And there we are. Let me see if I can get this in a little bit closer for you to see. Yeah, I got to get it down where I can see it. All right, there's our kind of orangish along the head. Got a little bit of yellow in the back. Not, maybe not as much as we'd like to. Maybe liked a little bit more yellow back there. Didn't get quite as much as I'd like. We got the blue showing through, but hey, I was after a black lure. That's what I wanted. And that's what I got. All right. Going to set of eyes. This time around, I don't think I'm going to go with the red eyes like I usually do. I got some yellow ones. I think some yellow eyes will really stand out with that real well. A top coat. 
We'll see where we stand. Well, there's our black and blue 2.5. You can see a little bit of that orange on the nose. That yellow eye, I think, really stands out good with that black lure. So now when I get into that murky, dirty water, I got a blue-black lure that'll work. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.